Welcome back to episode 3 of Hunter Gear, my hardcore Iron Man that's restricted to only progressing with gear and equipment acquired through Hunter. This is a long one, but it's a ton of progress and it's a ton of fun. Enjoy. Alright you all, so in this one there's a couple things that I want to kind of get taken care of early on. So I went ahead and started the sheep shear quest, so I couldn't really do this one until I got the shears just to make it a lot easier. So once I got the shears from having the tool store, went ahead and completed sheep shear. I got me up to nine crafting, which is pretty exciting. Uh, after this, we're actually going to go do miscellane mystery. So the restriction I had with this one was I needed a bucket along with a tinder box in order to complete this. I know you can pick it up during the quest, but that doesn't really work. So I got that from the tool store too as well. So going to continue on questing and uh, I'll give you all kind of an update as we go along. And there's another craft, couple crafting levels. All right, so while we have some B-roll running in the background here, let's kind of talk through what my plans are and goals are for this video. So one thing I really want to unlock this video uh, after unlocking mining in the last one, I think it'd be a good idea to unlock fishing in this one. So there's a couple kind of hiccups in order to really unlock fishing. So one of those is I need to get to 35 fishing to really train that skill. So once I get to 35, I can go and get a barbed tail harpoon via hunter and I can fish with it. So what the plan is, is to get to 35 fishing. So the way we're going to do that is getting the fishing um, contest quest done. So we need a couple levels for that. And then we also want to do the sea slug quest. That'll get us quite a bit of fishing EXP as well. The problem with that one is we need wood cutting and fire making levels. But the good thing is we can actually do that now since we have the ability to get a tender box so we're good there so that's kind of what the plan is so get to 35 fishing via those quests along with we're also going to have to complete some diaries that's why i'm actually getting this uh, kitten in the background i need it to start the ichthalin's little helper quest so with that i can get into pyramid plunder since i have to loot that sarcophagus initially and sell some stuff to uh, simon templeton for the diary so that's kind of where we're at that's why we're doing this and yeah, the end goal of this video is to unlock fishing and in the end actually unlocking Temporos, which will be a good source of feathers and different things like that. So pretty, pretty excited for that. Okay, and so another thing we're going to kind of be pushing for in this video is our hunter level needs to go up. So there's a couple different milestones that I really want to hit this video as well. Uh, and I'm going to play some footage of me getting some prayer and hunter levels in the background as I kind of catch kebits with the aerial uh, mechanic. So... One thing we're kind of pushing for is level 59. That'll get us red salamanders, which are super fast EXP. Um, they're not really good for anything other than I, I'll need one for training later, but just one and we're gonna have to catch a ton. But the main reason for that is at 58, we actually unlock nature implings. So nature implings have a ton of good drops. They're basically my main source of seeds and different things of that nature. So there's not really much else to them other than that. They'll get us some magic logs, uh, but they're also going to give us Limpwort seeds, Harlander seeds, Farm, Avanto, Torstal, Renard, Dwarfweed, all kinds of stuff, just straight snake grass drop or snake dragon drops, uh, tons of stuff like that. So they're really, really important for us kind of in the long term. And they're, you know, one of the rare impling spawns. So by catching those, we can actually force in Puro Puro for magpies, ninjas, dragons to spawn as well. So the next push after that, of course, and something we want to get this video is level 65 for magpie implings. So magpie implings give us a ton of upgrades. Uh, I'll kind of put it up on the screen here, but it's going to give us the amulet of power, split bark gauntlets, mystic boots, mystic gloves, rune war hammer, rune square shield, dragon dagger, nature tiara, rune bars, diamonds, pineapple seeds, snapdragon seeds, rings of recoil. All these things are going to be great for us. Rings of forging, um, they're going to be really, really vital for the account as a whole. So I'm pretty pumped to uh, get those. So that'll be another thing that we're pushing for in this video. So looking forward to that as well. So one thing you just kind of saw in the background there is I was mining some copper and tin. So I actually need bronze bars for the uh, observatory quest. So I want to try and get some of these quests out of the way that give EXP uh, from lamps from the museum and stuff like that. So um, we're going to go get some bronze bars and then we're going to go do the observatory quest just to unlock some bonus EXP and see what we get. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of questing in this video. 
but the end goal being unlocking Temporos and getting us some upgrades from Magpie Emblem. So speaking of Magpie Implings, we just got 65 Hunter. I know that was a pretty big jump, but I don't think you all wanted to watch me catch Salamanders for six levels. So there's a little bit of an update. So we're at 65. Uh, I also got the Spotted Cape and uh, the Dark Kebit Gloves while I was doing the Kebits just because those are, you know, reduce some of my weight and allows like thieving and stuff like that. Um, but also just a glove slot and a cape slot that we didn't have before. So we're going to go catch some implings now and hopefully we'll get some upgrades. So I'll show you some clips of that and you, you get to see me fight some bots for magpie implings. Really fun. All right. So here's a little taste of what it's like to try and catch a magpie. So one thing I'm definitely going to work on in the future is getting some snare and bind runes um, because these things go crazy. Eventually I'll be able to do, uh, do the, the kingdom divided quests and I'll unlock dark lure. And that'll give us a ton of access to these imps a lot better. But right when I'm about to catch this, when you see this bot spawn in, and he's about to run over and try and snag it from me, but then he runs back to his original spot, and then they will log out and hop to the next world. So you can kind of watch it happen in live right there. So, yep, let's go open these. I caught a couple. All right, so kind of the first set of magpies opening. So there's the power, power amulet. This is actually huge, so that's my first amulet that's actually going to give bonus stats which is super awesome also got rings of life i probably won't use them i mean if i die i die uh, but the rings of forging will definitely come in handy when we have to make iron bars so super stoked about that but extremely extremely excited that i got the power ammy so magpie implings are going to be huge for our cash stack as well gp is basically not going to be a problem anymore and just look at us we look like just such a unit so very very pumped all right next up are nature implings so we got some irrit seeds right out the get-go which are pretty sweet and uh, some general just herbs harlanders are going to be really big for the account uh, magic logs will be good later because we can use them for fletching um, coconuts i don't know how useful those will be right now but they might come in handy you just really never know so we're going to start a little herb tab here just to keep track of this but uh, we're also going to kind of open some essence implings and different things that we got um, on our hunt so we're definitely going to head back in there and try and catch some more but we love some essence implings because we get all kinds of runes from them so yep we're going to move back into puro now wish me luck all right another little session so let's get to opening so we got eight magpies you can actually get tooth and loop half of keys sinister keys from these you can get black dehyde which will come in handy later oh my god there's the dragon dagger that's so exciting so we're going to have to do the Lost City quest in order to be able to wield this, but we'll get that requirement eventually. And there's the Rune War Hammer. So any of those moving forward will actually just be free GP into the bank. All right, so we have another little session here. So I'm going to go through and just speed up this of me opening these. So caught a, quite a few Earth Implings as they flew by. These are good for Earth Runes, and I also need Steel Bars. Uh, steel Bars are going to be really vital when I go to do Mahogany Homes later with the Oak Planks I get from Eclectic. So... We're going to catch a ton of earth implings, a ton of eclectics, a ton of magpies, a ton of everything. So uh, with the magpies or the essence implings, we really want to get some law runes. doesn't look like we get any here, unfortunately, but as we open these magpies, we get split bark gauntlets, which are going to be awesome, but you need 40 defense to wield them, and I definitely do not have that yet. Uh, then we also have a dupe rune warhammer. This is going to be so much gold into the bank. Uh, GP is no longer going to be a problem very very excited for that so we're definitely going to kind of move on now and see what else we can get into all right please give me fishing exp please 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 come on fishing exp not magic fishing exp oh that's so good yes that is exactly what we needed. That's going to be huge for us to help us get to our goal. That's so awesome. So here's my current impling total. So in the lead right now are young implings still, but eclectics are definitely catching up. These numbers are going to be insane as we progress this account. All right. So I wanted to kind of cover another goal that we have um, that might seem a little bit out there, but it's something that that we're kind of aiming for. So the reason we're getting a lot of eclectics here and opening them and kind of watching the oak plank stack is I need to get to 45 construction now. So the reason I need 45 construction is I need to train crafting in order to do Lost City so I can wield that dragon dagger. So Lost City has a 31 crafting requirement. 
which is pretty steep because a lot of the quests you need crafting levels in order to do and I don't really have a lot of those unfortunately. So there are a couple quests we're going to eventually end up doing uh, like elemental workshop and things like that but we still need the ability to train crafting. So the best way for us to do that is actually to make gold jewelry um, and the way we're going to get molds is by making the tool store. So we need 45 construction to make the tool store so we can get amulet, bracelet, ring molds, all of those. Um, so that's another little kind of side goal that we're going to be working on while working on the fishing goal. So uh, definitely going to see us pushing a lot of eclectics out. And as we're catching the eclectics, we're going to catch essence, earth, and magpies and things like that as they pop up. So uh, going to kind of breeze through an opening here and kind of show you what we get. End up with a lot of dupes that we already had. So tons of GP into the cash stack, which is very, very exciting. All right, here's a little look into what you have to deal with when in Puro Puro. So there's these bots that will camp the spots and use bind or something like that so you can't catch it. So my goal here is to keep this guy from being able to catch it. So I'm going to sit here and spam click this so he doesn't get any. And this one spa spawned away, but since I pushed through first, I'm going to actually catch it. And he won't be able to. And this is 100% a bot. They always wear Christmas stuff or dark mystic or something like that for some reason but since i have the little push through bonus i actually get back over before him and he leaves all right i got a dunce random so i'm gonna throw that into fishing and we're gonna get up to 11 fishing which is so exciting any exp right now is great because it's gonna be cutting it close to get to 35 and we get the bonus of there being a magpie it's gonna snag that as well hell yeah well, this was an interesting interaction. Don't know if you've ever been attacked by the M Defender, but it just stole my Impling. <laughs> so it legit stole my Impling and freed it, and I had to come back over and get my jar off the ground. So this is really funny. Uh, it generally only happens after an update, but I always find it really, really hilarious. Just want to show another clip of me beating out this bot. So he rooted it, but he's not going to be quick enough. So I'm just going to snag it right in front of him. You just got to tell him, nice try, bot boy. That's what you got to hit him with. Then they hop. <laughs> got got by the impling defender again. <laughs> they just won't leave me alone today. All right, so we're going to go through and open some more eclectic. So right now we have about 33 construction banked. Um, after the opening, we end up at 39 banked, which is pretty sweet. Uh, the main thing we're kind of looking for from Eclectics are gold bars and oak planks because that's just what we need for the future crafting EXP and stuff like that as well. Uh, we also have some earth implings. The main thing we're looking for from there is steel bars. They're 1 in 100 though, so they're pretty rare, but that's just something we need for uh, mahogany homes as well. So I'm going to run through this opening and then open some magpies. Let's open these magpies. Pretty much just want anything with value. That is all valuable items right there. Holy, that's so much gold right there. That's fantastic. Um, we're gonna work on our strength level to be able to wield the room Warhammer because that'll be our best kind of training method uh, to wield the Dragon Dagger. So I'm probably gonna AFK some melee soon, unlock the ability to use the Rune Warhammer, and then I'll be able to wield the Dragon Dagger once we complete Lost City, which is getting there as soon as we get that construction level banked we'll be we'll be in a really really good spot so i've decided to take a little break uh, from catching implings and i'm gonna level up my fire making some uh, i want to get the sea slug quest done so that i can get some early fishing levels so i can do a couple other quests along with just getting the requirements for the arty easy diary uh, getting to arty right now is kind of a pain and i want to make that easier so i'm gonna chop some trees i'm gonna burn some logs and we're gonna go from there all right, well, this is a first for me. I got a bird's nest. So we're going to mark that for one. I definitely want to be able to see it. Yeah, I mean, I got this from woodcutting tree with an axe I got from Hunter. So I'm assuming I should be able to pick this up. So I'm going to. I don't think the seeds from this are going to be the biggest deal in the world. So it should be pretty good. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we get. Anything cool? An apple tree seed. All right. I'll take it. I mean, that's some early farming EXP once I unlock the tool store five and I can actually do farming. So it should be interesting. 
I believe this is going to be the last wood cutting level of this grind. Uh, after this inventory, I should have all the oak logs I need in order to get to 35 fire making, which is the requirement for the sea slug quest. So let me deposit this. And if it says 321, I'm set. Look at that. It's like I planned this or something. All right, I'm going to burn these. 25 fire making. So one of my clan mates actually needs Shield of Arav done, so I'm going to go the opposite gang of them and we're going to complete it. So I'll see you all at the end of the quest completion. It doesn't require any items or anything crazy. I just need to murder someone, but I can do that. <laughs> all right. Quest complete coming in. Boom. Just like that. And the cool thing about this quest is I actually will unlock... My EXP lamp, which is going to go in fishing, which would be pretty sweet. And there it is. 35 fire making. We can now do the sea slug quest, so and go hammer that out. I'm going to continue my little break from Hunter for a bit. Uh, I'm going to go get the rusty sword from these hand members. And then uh, going to go get 25 thieving. And I'm going to try and smash out quite a few quests and requirements and things. Uh, in a row that way I can get the arty cape right after I finish that game of trawler after I do sea slug so uh, I'm gonna get the rusty sword gonna go over to Alcarid, get a piece of silk uh, do some agility laps and then make my way towards the sea slug quest so wish me luck this is so awful at low levels like this is not good <laughs> oh I'm gonna be here a while also I'm dropping all the stuff that I can't get from Hunter, so not picking up anything. Uh, I'm going to keep the ham robes and stuff because I need that for a quest later, uh, even though I know it's easier to thieve it uh, once you start the quest, but that's the only thing I'm going to hold on to from here, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I finally got it. It took 45 pickpockets only, but I got kicked out. Let's see. Let's see how many times I got kicked out. 10 times, <laughs> 10 times I was kicked out. Uh, also I made it to 19 thieving. So I'm gonna go get some agility levels. And here comes 25 agility. Boom. I can now do the, oh gosh, grand tree quest. I blanked there for a second. So I'm gonna go do that. And um, yeah, that and sea slug and biohazard and a couple other things. Cause the main focus right now is I want to get the arty me arty easy diary done so uh, i'm gonna do all of these so biohazard i got the rusty sword that one's spooky but i'm gonna do it and uh yeah we're gonna go get that get the cape make traveling a little bit easier all right we're gonna start the grand tree quest i got my massive stack of fire strike for when i gotta fight the demon got my best in slot mage armor equipped by the way if y'all didn't know little thing check this out look at my mage attack bonus seven six literally best in slot right now until i can equip that battle staff so look out so while i'm down here i'm gonna start and do the sea slug quest let's to come to hazelmere i'm gonna give homie the rusty sword boom easy task but yeah i'm gonna go start sea slug and uh hammer that out so catch y'all in a minute All right, I'm gonna start and finish the sea slug quest. Uh, there's literally not a whole lot you have to do for this, so I'm gonna patch the boat, go out on the boat, finish the quest, and get a ton of fishing levels, which is gonna be huge, and push us closer to getting to 35 so we can actually level fishing. So pretty pumped about that, and I'll catch y'all at the quest turn in. All right, that was an extremely difficult quest accomplished. I'm very excited for the reward from this though. Boom. Tons of fishing XP, 25 fishing, getting us ever so closer to the 35 that we need. So main reason we need 35 is to tuna harpoons, and we can actually make a harpoon from barbed tail kebet. So that's the current plan. And uh, yeah, we've got a couple more quests we can do, and then uh, we should be pretty close to 35. And worst case scenario, we'll do combat achievements or something like that. 
in order to get some lamps to get to 35. So it'll be achievable. All right, just keeping up the theme of doing stuff in Artie while we can. I'm gonna go and do the diary task to turn in the silk. And then uh, after we do that, I'm going to probably start Biohazard, see how far I can get, because I know you gotta go to Remington. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. About to show this mourner what's up. He's not ready for it. Look at this. Look at this dagger. He can't handle it. He's got to stab him in the ribs. Ugh. Oh no. Oof. Feels bad. Sit. Here's the end of the biohazard quest coming in. Diary requirement done. As soon as I go walk into that place, so pretty pumped about that. Should get a couple thieving levels too. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna go finish the Grand Tree now. All right, so I'm going to voice over this part because I may have said a few uh, explicits <laughs> while, while this was going on. So I was trying to safe spot this guy, and I don't know what I was doing wrong, but that was not the right place to do it. <laughs> I finally got it figured out, uh, and we eventually killed him, but it was just funny. All right, let's find out. 31 agility, nice. 45 attack. 24 magic. Oh, so close to 25. That's awesome. Nice. Cool beans. All right, I'm going to go finish the medium arty diary up. All right, so about to finish the easy arty diary, not the medium. So I just need to steal a cake from right here. So I'm going to steal it, drop it, and we're going to make our way over to Two Pines and get that lamp and that cake. All right, so we actually can't use this lamp yet since our fishing isn't level 30. So we're just going to have it chill in the inventory for right now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple quests. We're going to go do fishing contest and a few other quests to get the lamp from the museum in order to get to that 30 fishing so that we can actually begin using diary lamps on it to get to 35. All right. So I came with kind of an idea of what I'm going to do in order to get to the 30 fishing. So I'm going to do the Merlin's crystal quest. I already did shield of Arav. So with those two plus the fishing contests, I should get over level 30 with the lamps I get. Um, and then from there, I'll just need a little bit more EXP. So I can do like tie by one eye trio, um, but I need to actually get a clean ear and a couple other things to get the agility potion. So I'm going to try and figure that out, but I at least want to get over level 30 so I can actually use this antique lamp. So that's the current plan and uh, we'll figure it out from there. I'm sure I can scrape together some of the diaries if I need to. Um, like Karamja, I just need to level some mining, which I can do now, um, now that I have the myth pick and the ability to use it. So I'm gonna finish out Merlin's Crystal and then uh, fishing contest, go get my lamps and uh, I'll see you at the quest turn in. So I made the mistake of not going to the Zamorak Temple to get what I needed. So I walked all the way there for no reason. So uh, I just unlocked the Varrock Telly. So I was just blasting these imps trying to get the last couple beads I need. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to Varrock now and uh, we'll do it from there. All right, so here's the Merlin Crystal Quest done. So with that, I actually get a 1000 EXP lamp from the museum. So that topped with the fishing contest that I'm about to go do should get me uh, over 30, which is what I need. So going to move on and do it right now. All right, here's the turn in for the fishing contest. This is going to get us to probably 28 fishing, I believe. But the two lamps we're about to go collect should get us over that 30 marker. So we're going to head to Varrock and go to the museum. All right, we just about to be done talking to this guy right here. We're going to use our two lamps that we got. Uh, they're 1,000 each on fishing. So this should put us at level 29 fishing. And the next lamp should put us over that 30 marker. All right, and now since we're over 30, we can actually use our Artie EXP lamp. And that should get us a little bit over 31, close to 32. So we're going to go do some other diaries and things like that and figure out next steps. So I'll catch you all in the next clip. And so Runelight's not updated right now. So a lot of stuff is missing and the game looks a little poopy. Um, so I'm probably just going to go mine some iron 
and try to get to the 40 mining required for the Karamja Easy Diary. Uh, I think that uh, EXP will be helpful. So that's what I'm going to go do right now. Uh, I think I'm going to go to Isle of Souls. So I'll catch you all with a couple mining levels, but uh, then we'll get to some other content once Room Light's updated. Just a note, I think right now I'm definitely going to bank a large portion of the iron ore that I do mine. Um, probably not the best idea just because it's going to take longer to get the levels. But honestly, I think I'm going to end up needing it. So we're going to go for it. Sorry for the noise from the client. It's a little different when your rune light plugins don't tune everything. So, all right. All right. So rune lights back up, uh, but the game's updating again. Uh, I think the Easter event is causing the client to crash or something, something. I don't know who, who, who truly knows, but yeah, I'm going to keep mining this iron. I'm really close to 30 mining. Um, and then I can get coal. I have coal as well already in the bank, but the goal would be to be able to make steel bars. So probably going to do some of the smithing quests after this. Um, depending, I think I need a red berry pie and I'm pretty sure I can't cook that right now. Um, oh, no, you can cook it at level 10. So, yeah, I'm going to get that going um, and we'll go from there. But, yeah, we're going to keep mining, get to at least 30. I probably won't go to 40 right now just because mining's boring and uh, I don't want to do boring stuff right now. So I'll probably go back and catch some more implings in the near future. All right, there we go. Hit 30 mining. Gonna keep doing this for a bit longer. Uh, game's gonna update in eight minutes. Uh, I'm gonna do some quests. I'm gonna go do like the Night Sword and uh, eventually get to where I can do uh, Elemental Workshop. I think the only roadblock for that is crafting, but I think if I mess around with some of the stuff in my bank, I can probably get that crafting level, no issue. So that's what we're gonna go for. Hey, so I actually decided to do the easy Varrock diary. Um, so I apparently had all the requirements for it. Um, so I went and mined some clay and turned it into soft clay. And I'm going to get a couple little levels because I need to make a bowl for the diary. And I'm probably going to make some more pots since I don't have that many in my bank. And that's kind of the only way I can get those right now. So I'm going to smash out this diary and get even closer to that 35 fishing. So 35 fishing is going to unlock Tempros for us, which I think will be a good little change of pace. And you can actually get planks from it too. So probably going to mess with it a little bit and uh, I'll bring you all along. But yeah, so I grabbed a fly fishing rod just so I can catch the... Oh, can you not use these feathers for fly fishing? Well, that's going to complicate things. So I guess I have to go get feathers. So... All right, I figured I could use these, but apparently not. So we'll uh, figure it out from there. It seems like I can't use colored feathers at all to do fly fishing. So I can get regular feathers from birdhouses along with tempros. But in my opinion, I have feathers. I should be able to use them. So what I'll do is just for this task alone, since the main reason I'm doing this task is to unlock tempros. Uh, by leveling fishing with the lamp. So I'm going to grab like 10 regular feathers and I will dispose of 10 of my regular or my orange feathers just to kind of compensate that. Uh, Cause I thought I could use these and I'd be fine. But once I unlock birdhouses and unlock tempros feathers really won't be an issue anymore. So we'll deposit all of these and we'll grab out 10 of these. And we'll sacrifice them because I literally just need to grab a trout and that's all I need for the diary. So going to do that and then uh, we'll kind of go from there. But it's kind of silly that you can't use orange feathers in replacement for fly fishing. You would think that colored feathers would actually be better for fishing since they're colorful. Um, but, you know, the game is what the game is. But in this scenario, I'm just going to say it's fine because that's pretty kind of meaningless that <laughs> you can't use orange feathers kind of crazy so I teleported over to Artie I'm gonna go and uh go to this fishing shop pretty sure there's a fishing shop yeah I thought so that's the closest one that I could get to and then I'll tally back so use a little bit of my runes but it'll be okay so we'll buy 10 and we'll drop those go to Varak. all right I'll see you all whenever I complete the diary all right, so the trout is caught, so 
I did not want to click that. No. <laughs> well, there goes more runes. Uh, we'll catch more. But what I was going to say is I dropped the trout. I'll drop the flying fishing net. And I'm going to drop these feathers because that was just really, that bugs me, honestly. <laughs> I need to go fire my pots, but I'll do it after this. Uh, I forgot to do it earlier because I was kind of irritated, but it's fine. Uh, we'll we'll get through it. And here in probably, you know, today, feathers will be a non-issue moving forward once I do tempero. So not a big deal. Um, but I'm trying to get these fishing levels up and trying to get some other quests done because I want to get to Fossil Island soon because uh, that's going to be huge for the account. Uh, being able to do birdhouses once I figure out seeds. And uh, yeah, so catch y'all when I finish the diary. All right, so I'm going to kind of talk over this one since I kind of rambled a lot here. So uh, with this lamp, it's going to get us to uh, 33 fishing, I believe. So with that, we're only two diaries away from unlocking Tempros and or unlocking the Harpoon. So the current plan is to smash out the Lumbridge Diary. The main thing we're missing from that is the Cook's Assistant quest. Um, so in order to do that, we need an egg and milk and a couple other things that we can get from an oak larder. So we're going to go do Mahogany Homes get to 33 con i have 39 banked and then we will move forward with that and kind of um, move on from there and get uh, get this unlocked so i'm gonna call it right here all right so my first contract is actually in falador which is convenient so this is what my inventory is looking like right now i don't really have the law runes to afford to teleport to varrock right now so i'm gonna do this a very extremely slow way just because i need that construction level and i want to use as little supplies as possible for right now so uh, gonna get that that way I can get the Lumbee diary done so as you all know the way runescape works is there's a lot of little tasks to accomplish the main task which is therefore to unlock even more tasks and with an account like this it's even more intense so <laughs> we're gonna get to doing this and uh, go from there but I don't have a whole lot of steel bars so if I do get low I do have iron and coal so I'll just need to go do some quests to get smithing exp and uh, we'll go from there so wish me luck i got another falador task this is the best day ever and again <laughs> 30 construction coming in pretty big all right just a couple more levels so yeah this is my fourth contract in a row in falador i'm starting to think you can only get novice contracts in falador but i asked around and apparently you can get other places so I'm just getting mega lucky. I mean, I can get back here pretty easy. It just would be kind of painful. Like, I can just go to Remington uh, or take the boat from Artie back to Remington and then walk up. So it wouldn't be the end of the world. And I have Falador teleports if I have to use them. But yeah, I'm going to keep this going. I'm uh, going to get 31 construction right here. Uh, main goal right now is to get that oak larder built. So I would love a cuppa. Boom, 31 con. All right, this should be 33 construction right here. Take a cup of tea. Boom. We can make an oak larder now, so let's go make it. All right, so we have to build the kitchen. Boom, kitchen is built. Let's rotate it. Put the larder close. Build that. Oh my goodness. Oak larder. Boom. Look at this. We search it. We have milk. Oh my gosh. We have eggs. Oh my goodness. And we have flap. This quest took 33 construction to complete. And this is the moment of truth. Hardest quest I've ever done in my life. Holy moly. What a difficult one. So we're going to go make some bread and cook it on the stove now. Be back. I burnt the bread. I have to go get more flour. <laughs> what is my life? Fuse to burn it this time. We're gonna cook the crap out of this bread. I got a couple. Do it. Okay. Hey, we did it. All right, I'm gonna go finish uh, 
I guess I'll cook the rest of these and use them for quests and stuff. But we're gonna finish up this diary and <laughs> go from there. Oh, there we go. See, it was just a fluke. All right, get you on a bit. So the main focus is still getting that 45 construction so we can actually start leveling crafting because I want to get crafting up. Let's this fishing EXP right here. 34, we're so close that 35 so 1200 exp um, i can do the making history quest and that'll get us pretty close to um, that fishing level as well i think there's some sub quests we can do uh, the taiwan trio quest i just don't want to start that one since i'm missing a lot of the stuff but yeah we'll we'll figure it out i think we can actually start rfd now and we should be able to do the pirate pete sub quest so i think we might actually hammer out and start rfd and then we'll be able to get quite a bit of this stuff. So yeah, let's uh, let's do it up. Catch y'all in a minute. So I looked into Pirate Pete. I actually can't complete um, that yet because of crafting, which the main thing I'm kind of focusing on right now. So uh, I'm going to do the Desert Diary. I'm only missing one requirement for that. And it's actually the Icthorin's Little Helper quest, which I don't want to do that quest just yet. So I'm going to start it. Um, cause I can start it, no issues. So I'm going to do that instead. And then, so I'm going to start that quest. I'll complete the desert diary. Um, I went ahead and got a grimy irrit cause I want to clean that for the diary and then I'll have that so I can get my agility potion. So be pretty sick from there. I need to catch a bird. I'll have to equip desert equipment just for a bit, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, I think the only thing I'm missing is a willow log for the quest. So I'm going to run over here, grab that, then uh, we'll get that done. So I'll see you all whenever I get the desert diary completed. Very excited. All right. So we're going to talk to Jar. Get our diary. Shazam. We'll rub our antique lamp. Put it into fishing. That's 35 fishing. We can now catch tuna and do temporos. So I'm going to go get the harpoon. I'm going to throw this shit on the ground because we don't want it. And uh, yeah, I didn't actually need the sap, but I'll need it later. So it's going to go into the quest tab of random stuff that we need. This needs to go into the herb tab, Let's go to the main tab. But yeah, we're going to go get a barbed tail harpoon and do some tempero. So probably see y'all at either Timbros or I'm going to do some regular hunter because I still need planks and stuff. Um, but yeah, I need to get some hunter levels soon. Uh, 67, I can do black salamanders and then uh, we're going to shoot up in levels and it's going to be great. All right, here it is. Barbed tail harpoon acquired. Very, very exciting. Oh, that's my shift click. So it's that shift click should be berry. Boom. Check it out. We can now actually fish. This is huge for the account. Very exciting. Um, yeah, but I think I'm gonna do a little temporos because why not? There you go. And with that is our first game of temporos complete. So pretty sweet. I actually ended up getting a combat achievement. So my first. Combat achievement as well. So we go to my combat tasks. Go to all tasks. Check completed. And boom. We did it. We have one. <laughs> so pretty sweet. Uh, we're actually, let's go ahead and just loot the rewards to see what we get. Um, and then we're probably just going to go level some actual hunter. But I figured this would be fun. little change of pace since we work so hard for it. So... As I kind of mentioned, there's some planks. That's huge, actually. Uh, we're, you know, utilizing any skilling bosses uh, as long as we acquire the tools needed to complete it uh, through Hunter. So with us accessing the Barbtail Harpoon, we now have access to Tempros, which is super sweet, super exciting, and uh, I'm ready to get some more stuff done. That little side mission is now complete, and I'm very ecstatic about it. This was a long one, but I appreciate you all sticking it out. We made a ton of progress, and there's just even more to come, and I'm so excited to bring it to you all. So I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much.